Welcome to EPC LAN, the premier educational platform for piping engineering in the energy sector. With over 150 hours of recorded lectures and more than 1,000 YouTube videos, we provide comprehensive and detailed courses on piping engineering. My name is Sonia, and with over 20 years of experience in the field, I am thrilled to share my knowledge with you today. I am grateful to EPC LAN for this incredible opportunity. Today, we will delve into a fundamental topic, air cooler types, specifically focusing on induced and forced draft fans. This introductory section will provide an overview, and we will explore the details of induced and forced draft fans in the upcoming sections. Air coolers play a crucial role in various industrial applications, particularly in maintaining optimal operating temperatures. Understanding the differences between induced and forced draft fans is essential for selecting the right type for your specific needs. Induced draft fans are typically positioned at the outlet of the air cooler. They pull air through the heat exchanger and expel it outside. This type of fan is known for its efficiency and is often preferred in applications where space is a constraint. Induced draft fans are quieter compared to their forced draft counterparts and require less maintenance, making them a popular choice in many installations. On the other hand, forced draft fans are located at the inlet of the air cooler. They push air through the heat exchanger. Forced draft fans are effective in applications where higher air pressure is needed. However, they tend to be noisier and may require more maintenance due to the positioning of the fan blades. The choice between induced and forced draft fans in general air handling applications depends on several factors, including the specific application, desired efficiency, space constraints, noise considerations, and maintenance requirements. By comparing these aspects, you can determine which fan type is better suited for your needs. In the next section, we will delve deeper into the characteristics, advantages, and applications of both induced and forced draft fans. This detailed comparison will help you make an informed decision for your air handling needs. Let's begin. Firstly, let's explore induced draft fans. These fans are designed to pull air through the system, which has several advantages and a few disadvantages. Advantages of induced draft fans Higher efficiency, induced draft fans are generally more efficient at moving air. By pulling air through the system, they create more uniform airflow and enhance overall performance. Reduced risk of recirculation, these fans minimize the likelihood of recirculating hot or contaminated air, improving cooling or ventilation efficiency. Lower noise levels, typically located at the exhaust end of the system, induce draft fans tend to be quieter, especially at ground level. Effective for large systems, these fans are ideal for large industrial systems where efficient air movement and precise temperature control are critical. However, there are a few disadvantages of induced draft fans. Higher initial cost, the installation of induced draft systems can be more expensive due to the need for robust ducting and strategic placement of the fans. Complex maintenance, since the fans are located at the exhaust end or at higher points in the system, accessing them for maintenance and repairs can be more challenging. Now, let's move on to forced draft fans. Let's begin with forced draft fans. These fans are known for their several advantages. Lower initial cost, forced draft fans are generally cheaper to install. They push air into the system, which can simplify ducting and fan placement, reducing overall setup costs. Easy maintenance, because the fans are located at the intake or lower levels of the system, they are easier to access. This accessibility makes maintenance and repairs simpler and more straightforward. Compact design, forced draft fans can be more compact, which is beneficial in applications with space constraints. Their smaller footprint allows for greater flexibility in system design. Effective for smaller systems, these fans are often used in smaller systems or where the ductwork design makes induced draft fans impractical. They are ideal for situations where simplicity and cost-effectiveness are key considerations. However, forced draft fans also have some disadvantages. Lower efficiency, pushing air can lead to less uniform airflow and an increased chance of recirculation, which can reduce the overall efficiency of the system. Higher noise levels, 
Since the fans are located at the intake end, noise can be more pronounced at the source. This can be a concern in residential or noise-sensitive areas. Potential for recirculation In some designs, forced draft fans can cause air to circulate back into the system, reducing the effectiveness of ventilation or cooling. In general, induced draft fans are better for applications requiring high efficiency, uniform airflow, and noise reduction at ground level. They are typically used in larger and more complex systems despite higher initial costs and more complex maintenance. On the other hand, forced draft fans are more cost-effective initially, easier to maintain, and better suited for smaller or simpler systems. They are ideal where budget constraints and maintenance axes are more critical than efficiency. Thank you for joining us today. I hope this guide on air cooler types has been helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the EPC LAN YouTube channel for more valuable content. With detailed courses on piping engineering and a wealth of resources, EPC LAN is here to support your learning journey. Until next time, take care and happy learning!